Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Spend a Great Day. Here we are back inside the C8 Corvette. I did want to throw another C8 video at this week because, well, there's just been so much going on and with all the hype right now with the new Z06 coming out, there's been one big thing that's been crossing my mind and this is something that Chevrolet needs to do, that they should do this for this new supercar Corvette. And I think it would be pretty revolutionary with that in mind. I think many of you would probably agree with me. Now, what is one of the first things that you think about when you think of a supercar, an exotic vehicle, like a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a McLaren, maybe even sometime Porsches? Currently, Chevrolet is doing so many things right when it comes to producing a high-end mid-engine vehicle. For example, tons, almost like an unlimited amount of options with Alcantara, special uh, colored 12 o'clock striping, um, colored stitching, you name it. There's so many different interior options and just upgrades with the Corvette, even going to sound systems and in carbon fiber, that it truly feels like a luxury exotic car. However, when it comes to those options, they are truly lacking in one sense. Now, over the past couple of years, I've had the extraordinary chance and opportunities to test out and try many exotic supercars. And there's one characteristic that almost every single one of them shares and it's something that I really would wish Chevrolet would add to their mid-engine lineup to truly fulfill that supercar nature. When you buy a supercar, they should come with supercar colors. You've got the supercar speed, you've got the agility, you've got the sound. There's so many things that Chevrolet has done right. I mean, I applaud them for making this car. The amount of risk that it took to develop a mid-engine Corvette is just astronomical. It truly is. But then there is one thing that they're not taking too much risk on, and it's the colors. And let me explain to you why and how. Currently, right now, Chevrolet offers seven different shades of white to black when it comes to color color options on their CA Corvette. How many reds? Just about two. How many uh, blues? About two. How many crazy bold um, Skittle colors? I think only in general two. And that is Accelerate Yellow and the new Amplify Orange. You might be thinking right now, well, those are really impressive colors. Uh, they are. They are pretty nice. But to compare them with the exotics, well, uh, recently with a chance to test out and review my buddy Steven's Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4, the all-wheel drive variant. And check out this green right here. Chevrolet needs to add a green like this on their new Z06. It would just be revolutionary. That color is actually called Verde Mantis. And the amount of green flakes it has is truly uh, astonishing. Not just that, we also reviewed the Lamborghini STO that color as well that one had verde citria i believe is the color and it's like this even lighter metallic green when you see these colors it perfectly goes with these cars lamborghini does so many things right when it comes to the way you can spec them out even my buddy's new svj that just came in has this unbelievable uh exotic metallic purple that matches the mean and just a next level vibe of the SVJ. Same with McLaren. On my McLaren 600LT, uh, the color I have on is called Papaya Spark and it's their official like F1 racing color. It's the McLaren orange we're so used to, but then imagine tons of metallic flakes all over it. McLaren is so noteworthy for offering these types of colors. Even the 720S we reviewed recently had this even deeper um, red metallic that honestly looking at it, it, it looked like liquid, but also at the same time stealthy. I don't know how to describe it. It was just unbelievable. We don't really have those kinds of options but with Corvette, do, do we? Same goes for the McLaren Alva we drove an interview on the channel. Look at this color. It's so crazy. These supercars are bold. They are outlandish. That's why people like to buy them. Now I completely understand if you're a big fan of the gr of grays on performance cars or black or white. Uh, I'm I agree. I, th I think it looks amazing on the CA Corvette, but offering so many shades of the same color 
and lacking on different fronts is, is a, um, I think the only thing that I think I would recommend to Chevy to change when it comes to uh, their cars, because they're doing everything else right. I just would love to see much crazier colors. For example, we have one metallic blue, and then the second blue is uh, basically flat. Uh, the orange that I was looking at ordering from a new Z06, I thought at first it was metallic, but the more I look into it, it looks like a flat orange uh, no flakes that I can see as of yet I could be wrong let me know if I am wrong I know Sebring orange the orange that came up before the orange on the Z06 is filled with tons of metallic flakes the Z06 orange I've been seeing it looks again pretty glossy and flat another example is the yellow on my current C8R it looks amazing on this car I'm a big fan but at first I didn't even know it was metallic I read the name uh, accelerate yellow metallic and I'm like oh it must be metallic right but I saw photos, I started seeing them in person, and I couldn't tell. I just thought, like, maybe they're referring to something else. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I finally learned over time, with the great help of our, our friends of Elite Finish, who did the PPF work on this car, they, they shined a light on the paint job, and I started seeing the flakes. But the flakes are so far spread out and so few in between that I... I you probably couldn't tell it's a metallic car unless you notice the different shades of yellow that would come depending on sunlight conditions and uh, or if you looked extremely close. The yellows that McLaren offers are truly outlandish. They're insane. Even Mercedes-Benz is doing some crazy colors with these like matte finishes. Same with the NSX, Acura in their NSX Type S. Chevy, you gotta offer something like that. Imagine a green Z06. I would be lining up to get that car. I would be so down for a green Z06. Well, what are your thoughts on that? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Even for red, the bright red red Chevy offers is flat, it's not metallic. The only metallic red really is this deeper red called Red Mist, and it looks good, but again, it's got that more timid nature. The majority of colors I've been seeing on the C8 are inherently timid, or they're taking less risks. When I drive around LA, all I see are white, gray, black cars. When I see an exotic, the crazy color schemes that these owners are optioning for make the cars become eye candy. They look like they're straight from a video game, a movie. If you actually research, there's a lot of science behind what different colors can, can do to you for the way you think or feel. For example, right now we're sitting in the car. This is normal real life color. Let's change up and be, be creative. Now it's pretty cold outside, right? It's getting kind of cold. You don't feel as comfortable, do you? There's something weird going on. Now it's pretty warm and I'm looking around and you can tell it's, it's, it's hot outside and the vibe has changed. Is it gonna be a, a bright, exciting day today? Are we gonna go out to the beach? And now let's bring it down a bit. Now it's dark. There's a mysteriousness to this color, right? You're not sure what to think. It's keeping you guessing. You see the different effects of these different color changes on this footage? That's what's happening to you when you see a car in person. You just don't realize it. So that's just a little science to throw at you and a little something that you learn about a video editing too. Maybe colors change for a reason. Nonetheless, Chevrolet is making this insanely exotic American supercar that's got a flat plane crank revs to close to 9,000 RPMs. It's un unbelievable. However, if they truly want to finish off this uh, mid-engine supercar construction they need to offer what exotics offer with the supercar colors i'm not trying to say chevy's doing anything wrong i'm a big big fan uh this is just one thing i would love to see them throw in more because these crazy um enhancements would perfectly fit the z06 and they'll perfectly fit the younger audience that you see a lot with these supercars. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below of what all I've said here in this video. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, I'd love to hear your feedback. Make sure to subscribe with the like button if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for much more great content coming out your way and more regarding our C8, a Z06 with order updates and so forth. I'll see all of you in the next one.